I made this account with one thing in mind. I want to get to PvP as soon as possible. I love Iron Man content, but I also love PvP. This is my Bronze Man. I cannot trade, I cannot use the Grand Exchange, but I can kill you and I can take your items. Let's get into it. I want to get this account as quickly as possible to high level content. Previously, I was gonna waste time PKing people at low levels, but I've done that a million times. So now my goals have changed. I wanna to get to the good stuff as soon as possible. I wanna be DDS specking people for money if ever I need money. I wanna be able to PK in high level gear. I wanna be able to solo raids. I want all that good stuff as soon as possible. I already have accounts that can do raids, but I want to do this on a bronze man. Originally, and in the last episode, I did use the Grand Exchange once. That is the only exception I'm gonna make. I bought 100 Earth Runes, which I could have just gone to the shop to buy. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, but that, back then I was just doing the traditional bronze man, but I've decided to just go completely self-sufficient. I'm taking inspiration from Boaties One Man, One Arms Army series. <laughs> one man, one arm. <laughs> because I found it really, really interesting. I love the series. So, yeah, this is basically what what you're seeing in the background is me just questing, questing, questing to try to get to... But I, I want to solo raids and I want to be able to say that I did it using the GE once to buy 100 Earth Runes. <laughs> but not just that, I want to get Claws solo so I can PK with Claws. And once I've unlocked something like Claws, if I die with them, I, I'm going to allow myself to buy them from the GE. So that's the only exception I'm going to make. If I get myself an AGS in the future and I die with it, I'm probably just going to buy myself another one if I have the gold for it. But yeah, I'm feeling really, really good with how the account's going. You can see in this clip I'm unlocking teleports. I've got the RD cloak. I've got dueling rings. I can restore my energy more quickly and I was feeling really, really good about myself. I was thinking, oh, I've definitely improved as a RuneScape player. I'm a much better player than I was even a few years ago. I do still think this is true, but I do make some really big mistakes in the clips coming up, which cost me a lot of time and a lot of sanity points. Uh, I've, been, I've been using dueling rings to get my energy back uh, like this. This is really really good for people who don't really care that much about like conserving resources and things like I'm using uh, Law runes. I use a lot of law runes and things but because I'm not an Iron Man Sorry, I'm not a hardcore Iron Man. I can just go to the bank The mage bank and just buy some more law runes money is just money at the end of the day People always say that dig site is like fine as a quest, but I absolutely hate doing dig site. I think it's because all my accounts when I was a kid, they had ancients and ancients, obviously you need to do dig site. So I think I've just done it. I've probably done dig site like 30 times, honestly. I'm not even kidding. Uh, this was a huge quest to get done, Gertrude's cat. I didn't realize how insane raising cats is. Like it's just, it's absolutely insane. This is me doing the elemental workshop quests, and again, I made a massive error. I thought that dropping the battered book was a good idea because I needed inventory space, and then, yeah, you need the book to finish this quest. I had no idea. I, I tried to be a good RuneScape player and thought, oh, I can drop the book, but yeah, nah, you couldn't. So I had to go all the way back to the dig site, which if you play RuneScape, you know that getting to the dig site is kind of annoying. And then when I went to teleport back to Camelot, my magic had been reduced <laughs> and I didn't have a dueling ring on me to uh, go to Ferox Enclave to get my uh, mage back. Yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare this game sometimes, but you know, it's our game. It's old school RuneScape. It's a game that we play. So. <laughs> I don't really know why. I don't really know why. I think it's a really unique game. I guess that's why. It's not like any other game. I was thinking about this earlier. You can't really compare old school RuneScape to any other game. You can compare RuneScape 3 to World of Warcraft. I think they're probably quite similar. 
at this point, maybe. But like old school RuneScape is just in a class of its own completely. Insane crafting XP, insane smithing XP. Getting those levels up, absolutely zooming towards my goal of, I think soloing raids, yeah, getting claws, specking people out, that kind of stuff. This is me feeling good about myself, again, making some dueling rings, making some games necklaces. I should have made some rings of recoil, I should have made more games necklaces because, yeah, they're pretty useful, obviously. I think I made too many dueling rings, but my, my logic here was that I'm probably going to be restoring my run energy quite a lot because, yeah, it's just better for me, I guess. And then here, I just tried to make one silver sickle, and it, I just started making loads of them. And then I realized, and I tried to cancel it, but it was already too late. So I just made three silver sickles for for some reason. Three placeholders in case I die with the other two, I guess. And then, yeah, I decided to get some gear from the Champions Guild. I didn't know if I was actually going to do this step, but I decided that I may as well just buy the stuff that I need from here I guess they'll come in useful at some point the black plate legs are already going to be pretty useful and yeah the coif and the training stuff I'm going to need to get at least 40 range for Temple of Ikov and range is one of those skills that yeah is really really hard to train at the very early levels so you need the best range offense gear possible I then made the decision to continue to follow Boti's guide and get defense, basically. So nature spirit, instant 13 defense. I don't regret the decision. I was, yeah, like I said earlier in the video, I was going to go and like kill people with Sarah strike, but like I've just done it a million times, you know what I mean, on this game. Like one of the things I used to do when I was younger is kill kill looters with god spells when I was 10 HP with 60 magic and things like that just because I found it fun just one-shotting people <laughs> I guess it would have been really really fun that was a risky jump I was watching Swampletics and I know that that can do 7 damage so after fighting the ghasts I was almost dead and I just decided to go for the jump I should have probably waited to make sure that I wouldn't die if I failed but yeah what's life without a bit of risk you know what I mean sometimes you just gotta Sometimes you've got to make the, the leap of faith and hope that the RNG will be on your side. Again, making the leap of faith. I haven't died on this account, so technically if I was a hardcore Iron Man, I, I could still be a hardcore Iron Man, but uh, yeah. I haven't died. I very, very almost died here, as you can see. And then I decided to kill this guy because I needed to do the diary, and he looked pretty angry, so I wanted to kill this I looked around a little bit to see which civilian to kill, and Nicola, is that his name? Nikolai. <laughs> Nikolai over here seemed like he, he was having a bad day and needed to be taken out, so I, I took him out. He was the chosen one. I got my task, Crawling Hands, which is perfect. I can just do that task. I don't have to use my 30 points that I got to skip it. And then I tried to do the diary step where, or I tried to start Creature of Frankenstein. But on the guide it just said read his sign, so I went to the thing, but it's actually in the center of center of Canafis. I didn't even know that. So classic old school RuneScape player, I had to use the wiki. I made a hard leather, I think. I guess that's for um, Ava's Accumulator, whatever it's called, Animal mag Magnetism in the future. Pretty sure you need a hard leather, so I think that's why I just tanned that. But I'm just following this guide step by step as you guys know, so I don't actually know what that's going to be used for. I saw that legend there, I made a clip and I asked him to add, him, add me as a friend, but he didn't add me, so I got upset and deleted the rest of the clip. Shiloh Village done, and then the next stage was to get a lot of fishing levels. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far into the video, please feel free to like, subscribe, etc, etc. I'm going to keep going with this series. I'm going to be consistent. I'm uploading other videos as well. Thanks for watching and peace out.